Hello, we are live now broadcasting. I'm actually speaking to the mother of Anthony, the, one of the guys that died in Lekki Togate. She's here with us. We want her to speak directly to Nigerians about her pains and her plight regarding the activities of uh, the police and uh, the soldiers who killed her son. Please, I want you guys, since you're already live watching, please kindly share this broadcast before we start anything. Kindly share this broadcast. The guy that died at Lekki Togate, the mother is here right now. His name is Anthony. Can somebody just give me a screenshot of his photograph so people can see? Please share this broadcast. The guy that died in Lekki Togate, uh, the, the mother is here at the moment. Please keep sharing this broadcast. That is the boy that died. That is the mom. The guy that's one of them. Please kindly, kindly do me a favor. Keep sharing. Just keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. I at least we can get up to 50 before we start. We're already 33. Just keep sharing. This guy, the guy that died, that's the mom. She has something to say to Nigerians. Please just keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. That's the young guy that died at Lekki Togate, and that is the mom. That is the mom. Please keep sharing. Just keep sharing. Keep sharing. Keep sharing, please. Keep sharing. As you're watching, just keep sharing. Please, what you have to say is it is well. I never knew that Anthony has. I want to thank his friends who picked him up from when he was shot. If it wasn't for his friends, maybe the people, the soldiers who picked up other cops would have picked him up and say nobody died. Those children saw when Anthony was running with gunshot wounds. When he was running with gunshot wounds, they stayed with him. Some of them fell under vehicles, a lot of things went on. my family. Bless you. For God's sake, thank you. Thank you. Nigeria, thank you. President thank you. Buhari, I, I, I cannot phantom what just happened. A lot of our children, a lot of our youth killed. And you all lot have the country to come out and tell and look everybody, the whole world, to say that nobody died. May death be all of you. May death be all of you. If you think you have private jets taking you like all of them, they've sneaked out of the country right now. Some of them are here, some of them are in Europe, because you can afford that luxury at the expense of the poor people. At the expense of Nigeria. This wealth belongs to all of us. Nigeria should divide. Let Nigeria be like the United Arab Emirates. Let everybody fend for themselves. Enough is enough. You've taken so much blood from your SAS to the police to the soldiers killing innocent children. Because of unemployment of, in Nigeria, I came down and I, and, I, and I lived in this country. I've been living in this country for like 20 years now. So I just want to find out uh, how, how come, who told, how did you know you, uh, your son got killed? What happened was that I was just at home. I just came back from hospital. I've been ill. Came back from hospital. And I just saw these photos lying around. Oh. And nobody told me. Oh, God. I just saw the photos lying around. I'm like, what is Anthony's picture? You know? Anyway, we don't call him Anthony at home. That's his English name. His evil name is Mazu. So I'm like, what is Mazu's picture? Flying around like this. Let me try and confirm. So I took, you know. I took his photo and I sent to one of my sons in Russia studying. So I said, oh, you know, what if it be this one now? So I was like, what if it be this one now? What if you hear Mazo picture they do everywhere for social media? And he goes, Mom, it is true. I did not want to tell you. I don't want you to find out. Oh, my God. That was like the start. Have you heard from the government? Have you heard from any government official? They've not called you. Nobody called. No call. They've not called anybody. They are still sticking to the fact that nobody died. Nigerians? What they are paying for the youth are telling you that they enough is enough. You don't want to listen. You want to burn that Nigeria, Nigeria will burn. Nigeria will burn. Nigeria will burn. Ten times over. Nigeria will burn. 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 Nigeria will bur
As you can see, um, it's very painful. Do you guys have anything to say? Because I'm actually shocked of words. Uh, they've still not called the woman to find out from her, was, nothing was, at all. I wasn't meant to come out because I can't even start on my on my toes right now. But my sister told me, no, come. It's good that you came. Uh, it's good. It's good. Everybody that you know, it's good that you came. He's a legend. He's a legend. He's a hero. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He would never be forgotten. Please send it to the right. There are actually people that are actually looking for people that die. There are people who collect evidence. And one more thing, please. Direct them. One more thing, please. If you're watching now, you can contact me on everyday events. We will, we will give you information of this woman that, that the son died, Anthony. This is actually the face of Anthony. We will be able to give you information concerning the woman. So people should know that people actually died. It's so sad that Nigeria has deteriorated to a country where laws are not followed any longer. A situation where you can just kill and nothing is done. Nothing is done. May the soul of the gentle man rest in peace. And every other person that has died in, during this process yes. rest in peace. Amen. But they should remember this. These lords would not die in vain. No, 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 no they would no, not no, die in vain. No, we would not stop. No, we would carry on. We would not stop. And they should always remember that if they want to leave that shit home and run here for we comfort, will, we, will we, will we will find them. them. We will find them. We will go to their house. They will not behave themselves because this is so wrong. And they are still telling us that no one died. He's just 23 years old. Just 23 years old. Cut down at his prime. They were dancing. That, that, that's the guy. When he was dancing with the girlfriend. What did they do? They were dancing. They were just before they died. So this is actually, please, brothers and sisters watching me, please kindly do me a favor. Share this video, please. For everybody that is watching, yeah. please stand this here. No, they are looking at you. You, you, um, Lagos State Governor says that the cameras that were removed were not cameras, were not CCTV. Yeah. They were censored cameras. Yeah. If they were censored cameras, why were they ordered to be removed? Were if removed? it was not for a motive. It was deliberate. Yeah? yeah? If it was not for the motive of to go and kill. And you 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 shut down the electricity. The lights went on everything before you started killing, and you started shooting. What message do you have for Shahol? You need your son. Just a message for Shahol. Get in touch with their families. Please. Because families are crying. Families are weeping. Families are mourning their children. Whoever is sponsoring these hooligans, whoever is sponsoring, well, what am I saying? Thank you very much. Can sponsor people to lie for them. That's very fine. Thank you. Please, kindly do me a favor, share this broadcast and um, whoever that wants to get in touch with the mother of Anthony, you can reach me on Everyday Event. There's a number to call is 0745 The number again is 74 So you can call Everyday Event to get contacts and details from the woman. Please kindly share this broadcast to get to all your content. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And do have a great day. Bye.